Tick, tick, tick. Mic tick, mic tick. Dry run it. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Some of us hold on to secrets for a lifetime. I don't know if I like that one. And take them to the grave. Let me hit that one more time. But Mark Pack has always taken his to the mic. It's the weird out before. I've been through it all before. But they throw in at me now. I tell the devil I got some no hat. Music's always been an escape, been freedom for me. The mic is where Mark's secrets come to light. And this is where the darkest one was made. Yeah, it's a heavy burden to carry. You know, I took somebody out of this world. I killed somebody. In 2006, in a dark alley off of Clinton Highway... There's a man, I know him. Mark hit and killed a man named Michael Wilson. Something came in front of my car, I don't know what it was, and so I went home. And later I watched on the news that a hit and run happened and somebody was killed, and so I went and turned myself in. Mark pled guilty to leaving the scene of an accident and showed up in court for sentencing. And I had to face their family, his family, you know, and hear their stories about... <laughs> no, this was my brother. This was my son. Those stories are now a part of his story. My rhymes above every bitch. Told Jesus. through rhythm and rhyme. To write down what I'm going through and to release it is, takes a big weight off of my shoulders. I'm trying to balance it. But the guilt? Do you think you'll ever forgive yourself? That will never go away. Never. Two years later, life came to claim its debt. I heard him coming. And Alex McCarty was there as Mark paid up. He swore he thought he was watching somebody die. Mark was on a new street bike, fresh out of prison and enjoying freedom from lockup. And it was a beautiful day, January 1st, 2014. But when he locked up the brakes. And I hit a telephone pole. Right here. It wasn't just life that broke apart. They said blood was coming out of my mouth and my nose and my eyes was rolled in the back of my head and I was, you know, going into seizures and shaking real bad. And, and we just started praying. I'm going to be honest with you. We just started praying for the guy. And then I remember waking up three days later in the hospital. That's when he learned the exact price that he paid. My reality is project houses, still I dream of palaces. I'm coping with the consequences, dealing with paralysis. The lifestyle that we live in is limited to these challenges. Are you ready? Yeah, you want to pull up on that? They're up. But the pants is the hardest, and I guess the shoes will come second. Every morning, after Mark moves through the grueling motions of getting out of bed... I will never get used to this. <laughs> never. He gravitates back to his music. I put my heart in this, I'm an artist with my words of music is the only escape I have, hope you feel me at it. It's definitely therapy for my paralysis. But nothing he puts on paper will ever put that night out of his mind. It's kind of like karma or I, I kind of feel like I deserve it. Because maybe his legs weren't a high enough price to pay for taking a life. Maybe he owed something more. It didn't take long for Mark to find a way to repay the world. I'm going to be one in four people that they do this to. He's part of a research study to help people who are paralyzed walk again. And even if he doesn't, someone else might. This might not help me, but this might help somebody else in the future. Every time I see that light pole, I will think of Mark. There are secrets left in Mark's world. All right, let's go. Ones only the future can answer. I don't know what it is, but I believe this guy will walk again. And I've never stopped believing that. I just think that it's possible. I, I think with hope and faith that anything is possible. And while the guilt will never leave him. Every minute, every second, every day, I'm paralyzed. And so this forces me to think about the mistake that I made.
I guess I deserve it. There's one thing that never wavers. The release of putting pen to paper and mouth to mic. Music can maybe bring me out of it, and that'll be my life saving. My life is is a song, is a story.